Welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. It is currently, I think, 11 a.m. and I'm still in fucking bed. My room is a fucking mess. And yeah, I think I'm about to get up finally because I'm a piece of shit today. I don't know. I just, because Mondays I have to go into the office and I don't get that luxury of like, you know, sleeping in. And today I do. So I'm like, I really appreciate it. Also, I need to talk louder in my videos. But. In other news, I really want to go to the Billie Eilish show tonight, and the tickets are pretty cheap, and I think I'm going to go, but I'll keep you guys posted. Bye! Hey vlog, so I'm barely eating breakfast, I'm eating a quesadilla. I ignore this clothes. It's a messy day today. So I just bought Billie Eilish tickets. Now I just need to figure out what to wear. Ow. Hopefully this works. <laughs> I'm trying out this new method where I'm like going to speak to an audio to see if it makes my sound better. But I don't know. I'm actually going to be doing my hair. So this might be like a total fail because I feel like I have to like have both my hands. I was going to like clip this. Hmm, let me find a clip. Give me one second. Okay. Hopefully you guys can hear me like this better. But I oh well, that failed. Okay, as I get ready, um, I'm going to the Billy Eilish concert, which I'm like so excited about. This is honestly very last minute. I've been like eyeing tickets to go to the concert for a while. And I saw they were like pretty cheap. First thing I'm gonna do is apply some Heat protecting to my hair. Probably here with my little. I'm really hoping this audio is working well because if not, this is gonna be a fail, but whatever. Okay, well, as this dries, we're gonna get into our first question. I'm gonna ask 10 questions and just to get like just to get to know me more and know more about like about me. I feel like the people that watch this already know everything about me, but maybe you'll find something new about me, you know? So this is a get to know this segment okay so what's the first question where is your favorite place to go on vacation Ooh, <laughs> this is a really hard one because i feel like as far as like travel that's like something that i really enjoy doing and so i feel like my favorite place to travel on vacation would probably be san francisco i honestly really really want to move there it's just so expensive <laughs> so I love traveling there like whenever I get a chance um, I'm actually traveling there for New Year's so I'm like super super excited but yeah that's like first question okay let's um part my hair so that I can get like good curls mm, I'm just like I'm just like not good at like talking while I'm doing stuff so uh, let's try this out so I'm just sectioning my hair so that I can get curls like in every single section and it's not just like a floppy mess. So um, let's just fast forward this part. I don't know why it's like not like the curls that like I was hoping for, but I feel like this is like all day hair. So I don't know why it's not cooperating with me, but no, you live and learn. How many countries have you been to? Um, I actually have not been to many countries. I've actually only been to one. So that's not cool if I like my whole personality is to travel. I guess I'm going to walk you guys through like my makeup routine. First thing I apply is concealer. I usually apply this and underneath like eyes. Like just to like brighten this up. And then I apply some to like my birthmark because everybody thinks it looks like chocolate. So you know, you got your insecurities. So I'm just going to continue blending that part. Next question. Let's move on to the next question before I move on to my next product. Um, what is your favorite TV show? I guess my favorite TV show of all time would probably have to be Friends. I just love that show. Like, I feel like I could watch it over and over and it'd still be good. Um, my favorite, like, TV show currently is The Sex Life of College Girls. That show is, like, really funny. And it's weird because I'm, like, I haven't been in college in, like, four years. But, like, some of the jokes they have are just, like, funny. Next thing that I apply is, since I'm going to a concert, I'm going to apply BB cream, but I usually don't apply this, like, when I go to work. So next question, have you ever met a celebrity? 
first time I moved out to LA, the first celebrity I like actually like met, not really met, but we went to like a red carpet premiere. It was for that Zac Efron DJ movie. And I met this Viner, her name's like Brittany. I put her in, like put a picture of her, if I can find her in the, on my video right now. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, I met her, but like I've like ran into other celebrities. One time I was at In-N-Out and I saw the guy from One Tree Hill. Don't really know his name. I could put a picture here. And like, yeah, that's all I can think of like on top of my head. Moving on, I'm gonna put some translucent powder um, underneath my eyes. Next, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I really don't do much with my eyebrows since like they're pretty filled, but they are like crazy all the time. Like I wake up and they're like this way. I wake up, they're like this way. Like definitely can see different expressions for me with my eyebrows. So I'm gonna put gel on them and just like darken them a bit where like there's like patchy areas. So, okay, cool. Let's move on to your next, my next question. Um, who is your favorite actor? Actress is, uh, oh my God, the girl from 27 Dresses. How can I not remember her name? Anyway, she's my favorite. I love her in like 27 Dresses. I love her in that other rom-com movie. I just love, now I'm about to fill in my eyebrows. Just put some gel on them, so. I'm gonna use this mirror because I feel like I'm looking in a mirror like in front of my computer. And when you do your eyebrows, it's like pretty difficult to um do them if you're like near. Next question. What was your favorite childhood toy? Ooh, that's a hard one. Um I don't know. I feel like from what I can remember, I used to just play with like a lot of Barbies when I was little, like my toys. Next thing I apply on my face is wing eyeliner. Um, so I'm gonna, I usually use the same one that I do my eyebrows with, but I just like clean it. Spray, this is like a little life hack. Cause I don't know how to do wing eyeliner with just a regular like wing eyeliner. So I usually use this brush from Anastasia and I wet it cause it's like, it has like a diagonal like thing. So it makes it easier. And then I use a soft one. This is like pathetic. I've had this for so long and I only use one color. So I need to buy a new one, but I really like this color. And I always do my wing eyeliner brown. I don't know why. I just feel like brown is a look. It's the vibe. Okay, let me concentrate here. Okay, another question. How many shoes do you have? That's a weird random question. Um, I feel like I used to have a lot of pair of shoes. I feel like I don't have that many anymore. I want to say I have like maybe 10. Um, okay, next question. Um, how many kids do you want? Wow, they really are digging to those really deep questions. Um, you know, when I was little, I wanted like to be married by like 24. And I wanted to have like 10 plus kids because I didn't want to die alone. Even though like I would definitely have a husband. <laughs> so, or... Not definitely, but I would hope to have a husband with those 10 kids. And he would be with me the whole time. And I'm over here thinking, like, kids are going to fulfill my life. Um, but, you know, as I've gotten older, I've noted how much pain in the ass kids are. And how brutally honest. And how much work they are. I really just want one, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Because I'm being selfish just because I'm in my 20s right now. But I really just want to travel. I And I want to spend money on myself and my significant other and just use that money for me. Maybe until I'm in a place where I like have excessive amount of money that I'm like, you know what, I wanna spoil a child. Maybe that's when I'll do it. But even then, recession, you know, things are going crazy right now. So I don't even know about how that much money, but there's that. Okay, now I'm gonna take off my powder or I'm gonna take off my translucent powder, yeah, and then put other powder. Um, okay, next question. What's the last movie you cried to? Well, I vividly remember this. <laughs> I cried to a lot of things. So I'm like a pretty, I feel like I'm a crybaby. Not me exposing myself. Um, but the last movie I cried to was, I think this was the last movie I cried to, um, where the crowd sing. 
I think that's what the movie's called. I watched it on the airplane on my way back from New York. And I was like bawling my eyes out. Um, I'm not going to spoil it, but that movie's really good. So there's that. Okay, once I've taken off all the powder, I'm going to... You know, I'm not a concealer. I'm not a concealer. I'm not a um, contour person, but I just got this, um, the Charlotte Tilbury one. I don't know if I like it, but I use it sometimes to like contour myself. I just do it with the same beauty blender. Okay, next question. We just have two more questions. I just wanted to answer a ton because, you know, just to get to know me, but I also like don't want to like excessively just talk about myself. Okay. Um, what? Oh, we only have one more question. Wow, I'm so sorry. What was the worst movie you've ever seen? Ooh. The worst movie I've ever seen. Oh. <laughs> Um, I don't necessarily think that the movie is bad, but I think it's bad for me. I really don't like scary movies, like, at all. I'm just, like, a big scaredy cat, and I blame my brother for traumatizing me when I was little. So, um, I went to go see Smile recently at the theaters, and I walked out of the movie, like, 20 minutes in because I was way too scared. So, I want to say that was the worst movie I've ever seen recently, but... Yeah, other than that, I, like, can't think of, like, one that's, like, just been bad. I feel like sometimes when I put on Netflix movies that are from, like, these indie artists or indie, like, producers, whatever, sometimes tend to be bad. But I can't remember. I also really like cheesy, cheesy, cheesy rom-coms. Like, Lindsay Lohan just came out with this, like, Christmas movie. Like, the movie was definitely bad, but I still watched it because it was, it was cute, you know. Okay, for my last two products, I'm going to put blush the rare beauty one i'm gonna put it like in my cheekbones to like highlight um yeah and so i kind of ran out of questions but this is what i'm doing i guess i can ask one more since i have like uh two more products that i need to put on my face which is lipstick and highlighter um okay let me scroll down here Um, the question is, who is your celebrity crush? And my celebrity crush is Zac Efron. I think he is so hot. He's literally been my crush since, like, high school musical. Like, hands down. So hot. Um, maybe he's gotten a little bit of surgery since recently that people think he doesn't look hot anymore. But, you know, I feel like he is... He's hot to me, so. Um, yeah, here's my me applying highlighter. Just this Rem Beauty one. And then for the finishing touch is this Summer Fridays lip gloss. Uh, I guess I'll ask you guys a question. You can put it in the comments. Uh, are you guys a lip gloss person or are you guys lipstick people? I like lip glosses, but you know, some people really like lipsticks. So I I want to hear everybody's favorite. And if you have any recommendations, because maybe I could be persuaded into being a lipstick girl and not a lip gloss, but I just like how it looks on my lips. And this is the finished product. As you can tell, my hair is like all down it looks disgusting now so i'm gonna redo it and i'm gonna start cooking food so that by the time it drives home which is the person i'm going with to see the village concert i'm so excited um we have dinner and then we can head out because the, the show starts right at 7 30. <laughs>